But Luke 21, starting with verse 7, it says, when you get there, say amen. It says, the disciples asked Jesus, saying, Master, when shall these things be? And what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? And in verse 8, Jesus said, Take heed, or means pay close attention, that you be not deceived. Say not deceived. Say not delusioned. Take heed that you be not deceived. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. And the time draws near. Go you not therefore after them. We talked about there being many false Christs. And in the last 10 years, there have been mystics and Western people taking DMT, including Will Smith, Jeff Bezos, uh, the, the cook, Tim Cook from Apple. They're taking DMT, which is a drug that opens up the perineal gland and it takes them into the spirit realm. And this is true. It's not just high. What it does is it opens up the perineal gland, which takes you into the spirit realm. All of us human beings have a gland in the brain that gives you access to the spirit realm. And as a matter of fact, I taught a few months, a few maybe a year and a half ago, that the CIA, and I have video documentation of this from the CIA, uh, when they proposed it and they were started this plan, they had released, and you, and you, some of you have seen the video, they had, be, be, they wanted to de-radicalize, they created this for Muslims. So the idea of the CIA was to de-radicalize the, the terrorist Muslims. And so they call this the God gene or the God molecule, the perineal gland, that gives you access to the spirit realm in your brain. It's where people get the psychic gifts, psychic powers, prophetic gifts, so on. So they said we can, if we dull this through, um, I, I want to say, it could be through medication, it could be through spraying, it could be through spraying through planes, it could be by putting it in the food, it could be through vaccines. There's, there's lots of ways they can, it could be in the water, there's lots of ways they could try and dull this gland. And just basically, they got to get this chemical into the system. We can spread this, and I, I forgot exactly what the plan was. I think it was through a vaccine. I can't remember. But they said we could spread this in the Middle East, and we can lower terrorist attacks. They won't be so radical. They won't be so religious. And uh, then it came to Congress, and they discussed this. And Hillary made a, a joke. She was joking, I hope. But she said, oh, great, we could use it on all these crazy Christians in America, too. <laughs> and she laughed. I have that on video. I hope she was joking, you know, but this particular drug called DMT opens up. It does the opposite, opens it up. So Will Smith has been doing it. Uh, a lot of the stars, CEOs, Joe Rogan. Do you know the Joe Rogan experience? His whole introduction for his podcast is about that drug. You see like this guy with the eye in his head and he's going through a tunnel. It's about DMT. Joe Rogan has done a lot of it. So it opens up that gland. And when you go into that, what happens when you take that drug, you kind of collapse. You go into a trance. You, you see this. Every, and if you, if you watch YouTube, if you go to YouTube and see DMT encounters and you listen to everyone's experience, it's 100% the same, everybody. They go through a light tunnel, a tunnel of light, which is the same thing that happens when people have near-death experiences. They see a light, they go through a tunnel. So they go through the tunnel of light, everyone, 100% of them, and then they enter into this realm. And they're in introduced to these creatures. And they're known and they're called, they're called elves by the people who do the DMT because everyone sees the same elf, everybody. Now, Christians who have taken it, if you watch Christians take DMT, will it? Christians say they come in there and 
them saying you're here illegally and they come at them and Christians are horrified. And most of these Christians are kind of backslidden. And after that, they're completely saved. Like they come back like radical for God, right? And there's been some non-Christians that actually got saved from the DMT, actually. They went into the spirit realm and so on. And then, you know, and Christ came and intervened and saved them out of that realm. So it's quite interesting. It's, you should not do this. But these, this creature comes to them. And this creature is the keeper of that realm. Everybody meets this creature. And the keeper of the realm comes to them when you take DMT, welcomes them and tells them their purpose and the purpose of life, uh, what they should be doing. Uh, Tim Cook, a lot of these tech guys, and I don't, I don't know about Elon. I probably, I, I would, I would, I would probably be, I, I could guess Elon's doing it too. But they have, but I don't know for sure. I, I think I heard that he does it too, or did it, whatever. But they give him new technology. So a lot of the technology we've gotten in ten years has come from this, uh, this from spirits in this realm that they come into through DMT. They're releasing new technologies. So some of these uh, beings have told many people that Jesus is an alien and that Jesus is from Pallades. He's an alien from Pallades. And there's, I think, a, it's a blue Jesus that appears to many of them. And it's interesting because some occultists have also said Jesus is an alien from Pallades. So these demons are, you know, they're saying the same thing. And whether it's an African or an American or a Canadian that takes the DMT, they're getting the, they're meeting the same entities, they're licked the same, and they're saying the same message. These are demons. And we are in this age that Jesus said, many will say, here is the Christ, there is the Christ. Don't go for it. Don't believe it. Then he says in verse 9, now how many of you guys know what I've been talking about, about the DMT and these creatures and all that? Okay, a couple of us do, yeah. I mean, to be honest, it was so interesting. I thought, what? I, I called some pastor friends. I said, hey, what if we tried DMT? Like, will we go in there and like cast out devils and like fight demons and beat them up, you know? You know, we kind of joked and we're like, no, bro, I wouldn't do that. I'm like, ah, I'm just, I'm just wondering. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there, you know? Like, well, you know, you know, so obviously you don't want to do that, right? And let me say, you also don't want to manipulate the perineal gland by any way. There are some people who call themselves Christians, I mean, I, you know, and they're soaking in Epsom salts to heighten their perineal gland. And they're doing certain, putting certain crystals on their forehead to heighten their perineal gland. And these are so-called prophets in ministry in America and in Africa. And that is witchcraft, okay? What is witchcraft? The Bible says, now these are the work of flesh, envy, strife, jealousy, murderings. And then it says witchcraft. So we see that the scripture describes witchcraft as a work of the flesh. Witchcraft is not hocus pocus, woogie boogie, open sesame. That's not witchcraft. What witchcraft means is the fleshly manipulation of spiritual law. So doing the hocus pocus, woogie boogie is a fleshly manipulating spirits. And so by you trying to do crystals and Epsom salts and to, to fleshly open up a gland to communicate in the spirit realm, that is doing it in the flesh. That's witchcraft. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, if God gives you a word of knowledge, if God gives you a revelation through, through prayer, that's not witchcraft because you're, 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 that is given by the Holy Spirit, by the will of the Holy Spirit, not by your will. So if it's by your will, it's, it leans towards witchcraft. If it's by the will of the Holy Ghost, if it's inspirational, by the unction, say unction, if it's by the unction, that is God, okay? Anything else, you become a charlatan or a warlock. Say amen. amen. 